Hey everybody, my name is Trayvon Sullen Trotter. I'm a trumpeter and composer from New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm currently a junior at the Berkeley College of Music studying contemporary writing and production. Music has been a huge part of my life, honestly, for as long as I can remember. Both of my parents are musicians, so I grew up hearing a lot of different music from gospel, R&B, rap, to jazz, all of those things. So I was falling in love with music subconsciously my whole life. Music has always been a visual experience for me. Um, honestly, from the time I was like 11 or 12, like really getting deep into music and the more I practice and the more I play, it becomes clearer and clearer. I'm inspired by a lot of different people. I would say my number one um, influence is Christian Scott. He's another trumpet player from New Orleans. He's actually a Berkeley alum, and I really love his approach to music. His harmonic concepts are very unconventional. He designs his own trumpets and instruments, so his sound is very distinctive. I love Kanye West. I love his music. I love uh, the albums Yeezus, Life of Pablo, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, 808s and Heartbreak is my favorite album. It's about heartbreak. All the songs are, are sad. All the songs are really sad. He's going through it. He's hurt. You might cry a little bit. If you don't cry listening to this album, you didn't listen to it. I learned to draw musical inspiration from all of that. I can, I can put 808s under a trumpet. That's literally what Christian Scott does. I can play a trumpet over funk. That's what Roy Hargrove does. I can listen to Kanye and listen to the way that he puts rhythms together. Um, it, I can draw inspiration from all of that. The inflections in the voice, I can make a trumpet sound like a voice. I can bend the notes. I can do growls. I can do triplets. Just a, a lot of different rhythmic things. I can put myself in the shoes of a rapper and take the rhythmic ideas and add that to my artistry as a composer and as a trumpeter. The summer going into my senior year of high school, I was actually uh, nominated for the Berkeley City Music Scholarship to attend the Berkeley Five-Week Program. The Five-Week Program is basically a feeder program um, to uh, Berkeley. It allows students to stay on campus for five weeks and really immerse themselves in a the Berkeley experience. So there comes a point during the Five-Week Program where you can actually audition to be admitted to Berkeley as a full student, as an undergraduate student. So um, I signed up for the audition. I was really, really nervous. I practiced so much. Uh, for that audition because I, I felt like this was the next step in my life. Uh, I had to work really hard to do it, but I actually over-practiced. Everything that could go wrong in this audition went wrong. Um, they gave me the wrong music for the sight reading portion. I was tired, my notes were barely coming out. I was tired physically on the instrument too. Um, so the piece, the pieces that I played did not sound good. And when I finished the audition, the first thing the judge said to me was, don't feel bad about having to re-audition. People your age tend to grow a lot in a year, so I suggest you practice. Yeah, I was, I, I was hurt. Um, I cried a little bit, I cried in the car, it's all good. But um, I started reaching out to professors at Berkeley and I devised a plan, a daily practice regimen um, that was about four months long to literally go from that day until the day of my audition when the auditioners came to New Orleans and the audition in New Orleans went well, I killed it, and I was able to get a full tuition scholarship to attend Berkeley for undergrad.
and um, I was crushed. Honestly, it it really it really hurt. But I was you know I was I was really sad for a couple of days. But I started reaching out to different staff members at Berkeley, and I went to their office hours and things like that. And I just I I devised a practice regimen um, to that I could put into place every day from about August. Of